This is our prototype demonstration for our thesis entitled Determination of Shell Corn Damages Using Colored Image Edge Detection with Convolutional Neural Network by Sev Kyle C. Montoya, Corleone Joral G. Saldariaga, and our advisors, Engineer Annalyn N. Yumang and Engineer Glenn V. Magwili. The video that you will be seeing is our previous demonstration that was taken before the suspension of classes occurred. As you can see in this figure, this is the actual hardware setup of our system. The tray, camera, laptop, and the two camera phone holders that are attached on the tray. And inside of the tray is the vibration motor. The sample that we tested here is healthy corn kernels. So the first part was to spread the 100 gram corn kernel sample onto the tray. Then, if there are overlapping corn kernels, the user can turn on the switch to generate vibration. After the samples are spread thoroughly, using the phone, we take a picture of the top view angle and then we place the phone onto the camera phone holders and we capture the images as well. Note that the phone we use has a 4x3 aspect ratio with a 12 megapixel resolution and we turned on the flash so that the samples will be clearly seen in the image. Then, we transfer the images that was taken into the laptop. We also move the images to the script folder so that the script will be able to read the images. After moving the images, we open the Python script that we created for our system. Then, we wait for the script to prompt input messages. The script will ask for the file name of the top view, angle 1 view, and angle 2 view images. So we copied the file name from the image and paste it into the terminal. Then we hit enter to process the images. Then we wait for the system to analyze the images. This is where the colored image edge detection and CNN is being done. After the process is finished, the results is shown in the terminal. The top view images is detected as healthy also for the angle 1 and angle 2 views. Then the image is shown and also the result of what type of coin kernel was processed. The results were correct because the input sample was healthy. Then the system also detected as healthy. Here is another sample of our test. This time we can clearly see the software part of our system. So in this testing, the sample is an occult type A. So I already run the program and we already have three images for testing. 
This was the images that was used during our defense. To start off, just like the previous demo, the script is asking for the file names of the images so copy the file name and paste it into the terminal. Then hit enter. After all the file names have been entered, wait for the process to finish. The results were for top view occult type A, for angle view 1 also occult type A, and lastly occult type A. So the final results is occult type A. Thank you for listening and that is all.